Hi everyone, it's Elodie here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use my script and how to change the main things about it uh, to suit your needs for playing AMQ um, and just have it looking the way you want to have it looking. So I'm going to go through how to change the background, how to install it and all of that jazz and the main things you probably want to change. So first things first, if you don't already, I will probably have this link in the YouTube video description below. Uh, you said to have a link to user styles where my you can find my scripts. Uh, all you want to do is download Stylus. Um, once you've got Stylus downloaded, you can press install style. So if you install the style, it might take a while to install. So once it's installed, you want to head back and you see it's already loaded in. Uh, this is the default, this is what you come with um, and I'm just going to show you how to change all of this. So you want to go onto here, you can see this is just my main one I use but currently it's inactive. You should have it pop up down here, uh, so it should be loaded down there. If it's not then you want to go onto the three dots up here, go to manage all styles and then you can press edit here or if you don't want to do any of that and you want to just go back up to here you can press the edit button here uh, so once you're up here you can access all of my scripts and uh, I know it can look like very scary and you don't know re really where to start uh, but this is why this video is here it's here to help you and uh, get what you want so what most people want is just their background changed and this is right it's right at the top of the script uh, so you want to go and find a background that you want ending with a image uh, ending. So for example, this is uh, GPG, uh, you could do, do PNG, anything that ends with like one of those codes you'll find usually at an end of uh, a website for an image and you want to find that. Um, the best way to find decent backgrounds is most likely PixV uh, if you want uh, drawn ones or you can just search up uh, a series that you want so uh, what do we do um, for example if you want to be a really normie person you could just do my hero academia wallpaper uh, you can research that up uh, you can pick one uh, you probably want to go into tools you probably want to go large and then you can find the largest one that does it so if you wanted this one I don't know why you would but if you do I'm not gonna judge you can do that go in that you see this is ending in PNG so all you want to do is copy that and then you want to come back here replace this and then you want to press that and what you want to do is now press save and if you go back to MQ hey look it's here and it's all there for you to uh, let's go and yeah that's what most people probably want when using my script but you might be like but I want to change the color of the XP bar I want to change the colors in here and I want to change the friend button and I just want to change the opacity of everything well first of all uh, what you can do you can press F12 on your keyboard and you can click on this icon up here and you can find this part and you see where um, div has uh, all of that crap is uh, you probably just want to type that in and I'm going to show you how you can find that section uh, in my scripts so that's the quick and easy way uh, so for example if we want to do the XP uh, you see the XP bar uh, this is like the section you want is covering the section you want to change uh, you probably you just want to uh, remember that so if you do control F and if you do XP then you can find the XP bar so I've already put footnotes for uh, everything you will most likely want to change. So for example, I've already written here that this is where you can change the color of your XP bar. Um, and you might be wondering, how do I find uh, the color I want? What you want to do is 
you could just type in color picker into Google and look, you've got a whole color section here. You don't have to worry. Um, so if you wanted this color, uh, you could copy that hex down, uh, go back to your script and you want to do that and get rid of that hash, save that. Hey, look, it's changed. It's the colors changed. Um, and you can just keep doing this for every section you want. So this is how you change it all. If you want to change the opacity for, I know a lot of people ask for me what happened if you want to change the color for the background here. Oh my God, that's too loud in my ears. <laughs> That was a mistake. But if you want to change the chat background, uh, all you need to do... I've already uh, got it here. So you want to go to game chat down here. Uh, you see it's already at 0 0.4. What you want to do, you can just change the number here and change the opacity. And now it's a lot darker and you can read the text a lot more clearly. Uh, just technique can be applied to pretty much anything so for example if you wanted to change the back of these boxes to a darker color that then, then you can standings the song info uh the title all of that you can all change the opacity of that uh it should be very similar in terms of styling and i sort of already left comments on the code and you could just scroll through and see what you can change uh it's the same applies to any of the um lobby containers uh they can change the opacity there and you can also find the friends and players button you can also change for example if you want to type in friends um hopefully i can find it if you want to go to friends you can see I already left a note here. Change friend color of lobby picker page. Uh, what do you want to do again? You probably want to go to the color picker. Let's go this bright color, why not? Um, if you just copy that, go back to your script. Put that in. Save that. And now, look at that. Your friend color is there. And you can also change... Uh, this little bar, player bar here, as well as that, this is also linked to the avatar drive color button. Uh, what you can do, you can also change that color. So if we go back, um, you can go here. Let's go for this color. Copy this. Um, go to this. Delete that. Not do that. Do that. Save that. And now you can see it's this color here. Um, so yeah, that's the main things that you probably want to change. Um, if you have a bigger screen, for example, if you're talking about 4K and you come to expand library and you want to load a song, you see it's already bigger for compared to MK, MQ originally. So for example, if I turn this off, this is this used to be smaller i've enlarged it and if you have a 4k screen and it's still too small for you uh how i've sized it up then you can go into my script and give me a second to find it you want to come here and you want to change the width here so let's say if you want to change it to 55 uh which is going to be very big uh, you can see that you can change the uh, size of the expand player and that should be look better on your screen and you can adjust that to however you will if you use expand a lot that might be really useful for you and you can do all of that too. So yeah that's uh, the gist of everything from my script and how to basically start changing my script to how you want it to be um you are free to message me with any queries or if you're struggling with something you can always message me um i don't have an issue with that um i will always be there to help you and i'll try my best to uh figure out what you want from my script and how you want your anime music quiz page to be looking like so yeah thank you for watching and i hope this helped out
Bye.